guys, Cindy out here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing? I'm going to pull you in just a little bit. Okay. Um, as you guys know, we all love our dear friend Shannon Green, right? Several years ago, or a couple years ago, I um, got some vinyl for her because we wanted to test and see how well it went through the die cut machine. And it went through perfect. I mean, it was wonderful, easy to die cut. So what I'm doing is I have all these die cuts and I just have this crazy idea which I'm going to try. Um, first, I'm going to get out the pieces I want to try it on. Just a few random. Oh, let's throw that star in there. Okay. Now, what I plan to do is I plan to use my um, Deco Foil Transfer Gel. All right, but I have to put this on and I have to leave it for an hour to dry. So I'm going to grab a couple little stencils and then we're going to use these few pieces. We're going to get them, I'm going to get the deco foil on them and then I'm going to let them dry for an hour and then we'll come back and see what other fun I have planned for you. I'll be back. All right, so what I did is I just picked a few stencils out. I, I just want to try some different stuff. So the first one I'm going to use, this is a piece of, I think it's called Punchella. Um, and what I'm going to do, I want the hole right over the hole in this tag. And I kind of want them straight. Let's see if I can do that. Um, sorry about the light. I hope the light's okay. I don't have my regular studio lights on right now. Let's try it again. Sit it here. I'll put it right there. Okay. Actually, you know what? No, I'll do it like this. We're going to try to freehand this, see how well it works, right? Okay, so basically what I'm doing is I'm putting this um, deco transfer foil, tra foil transfer. I think I'm going to want to get every little hole full, right? That one that covered up the middle hole, I'm not worried about that because it'll just come off. I'll make sure it's off before I do the next step. So now I'm going to have to let these sit for an hour to dry. And it says in the directions to make you sure you have a full coat like this. So we're going to make sure we have a full coat.
guys well instead of a just regular process video we're gonna have an oops I'm gonna fix it video so remember I did these and unfortunately other stuff came up um, and they dried too long so instead of just letting them go or you know using them as is I figured out well, actually I'll tell you my husband figured this out <laughs> Um, my my whole purpose this video is I want to use up these foils. They've been used before. As you can see, this one was used for angel wings. But there's so much foil left on here. I just, in good conscience, I can't just throw it away. <laughs> so, being thrifty, um, I have all these different colors here of, of ones that have been used. And this was my tester to make sure this worked. This was the tag that we did the little... Um, I don't know six six little pieces three and three and what I did is I did some testing I'm gonna bring you in I'm gonna show you what I found out okay what I did is I used my heat gun all right and one by one I heated these up or het them up or however you want to say it this is the first one I did this one turned out really well okay I just put the heat gun to it as it was hot I stuck this piece of foil on it as you can see, I've got spots. Um, I stuck this foil on it and I pressed it down. I use this little spoon I have here. I just kind of pressed it down into the heat and then I used this and just kind of made sure it was all on there, right? So what I found out, here's, whoops. As I said, I was using this little thing. I forget I'm not full screen. Um, I use this little spoon thingy and I just laid it on it and then I used the other end just to make sure that it was really adhered. So that worked. So I started doing some others and here's what I found out. See this extra here? Um, there's extra on this one just in random spots. This one looks really funky, right? And this one has got extra on it. So what I found out is you really don't have to hit this um, deco foil transfers gel very much with a heat gun and you can actually transfer your foil all right so this is what's called an oops i'm gonna bring it back out um, this is called an oops i let it dry way too long so i'm gonna set this aside now i've got this one here remember we put the little chevrons on it okay just to show you now that it's dry nothing is going to happen I can't get this foil, and I'm pushing quite hard. I can't get that foil to, oh, I did. This one must have been warm. <laughs> see, I'm making a liar out of myself. What the heck? All right, let's try, I can do, let's see if it'll do it again. It's not warm at all. I wonder if we just have to use really hard pressure. I was playing around with this last night, and I'm like, man, I ruined these. But maybe not. Let's see. It looks like it's coming off. Can't tell if it is or not. Well, I'll be darned. It's got pieces of it coming off. See, it's not color covering the whole thing. It's doing pieces. So anyways, let me show you what I was doing. Um, I take my heat gun and I'm just going to warm it up just a little bit. Okay, 
and then let's take this I'm still going to use the same piece and I'm just going to put it on here and where I put it on of course is where the lines are and hopefully it'll work this time doesn't look like it's going to work let's see maybe I need a different piece of foil oh it does work so here it's still a little bit sticky so I'm going to use this right here and see if I can get some of that off. You know what? I kind of like this not being the full foil. Look at that. I kind of like that without it being the full foil. It gives color, but it's not the whole thing. That's kind of cool. All right, let's do a little bit more. Like I said, you don't have to hit this very hard with the the heat because um, if you do, it melts it, and then you end up with more stuff. That took a little bit. Yeah, so you know, I've basically just been trying to figure out different ways. Um, to use up what's left on this foil because I don't want to throw it away. I mean, there's a lot of foil left in there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, a little bit more down here. So let's throw this right down here. Well, it's hot. When it's hot to touch, it's really hot. Okay, we're just gonna do that. Same thing as we do in the regular foil. We're gonna let it dry. And I got a little bit more off. I wish you could see the colors. I don't know if the camera does them justice, but the, this is actually really beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna set that one aside. I really like the way it is. Okay, this I'm gonna finally give up and let it go to the bin, even though I know there's still spots on here that could be used. That one's going to the bin. You know what? No, it's not. I'm gonna use those background material. Aren't I awful? All right, let's try, let's try this one.
So before you throw out, you know, um, a little bit of a supply, see what else you can do with it. And I'll be honest with you, um, because I made the boo-boo with this, it's I can still work with it. I can still work with the transfer gel. So your deco, deco foil transfer gel, if for some reason you let it go for over an hour, and I'll be honest with you, when I checked these yesterday, they were already dry. I did it, I just left them overnight and I said I'll figure out what I can do with them tomorrow. And honestly, I didn't think I could do this with them. Um, thankfully for my husband, you know, I can. And so now I've got these really cool pieces to put in art journals. And on top of it all, I was using scraps um, that I got from uh, Shannon Green. So look what you can do with your scraps. It's really cool. Don't throw stuff away. Find another way to use it. All right. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been like trial for me, and, and I'm really glad I did it. So again, transfer gel. If it gets over hard, you can still do it. Just use a little bit of your heat gun. Use your leftover foils. This one doesn't look like it has a lot, but you know what? There's a bunch here. There's a bunch here. There's some around the edges. I mean, there's always something left on your foil. So, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, don't forget to have fun. That's what life's about. Don't forget to check out the other people in the hop below. Um, there's a whole bunch of us. Who knows what we're going to be doing. It's a passion thing. We're picking our passion. And uh, check and see what the next guy's doing. All right? Have fun. And happy creating, guys. See you next time. Bye.